Okay, my name is Ivan Gunderson. Uh, I'm uh, one of the designers and builders of this rocket rocket. My good friend Chuck Johnson and I uh, designed and built this over the last few years. Uh, we, we met in engineering school. We're both mechanical engineers from uh, uh, Cal Poly Pomona in Southern California. Uh, so I was watching the Tour de France one day, saw a commercial that had Sam Whittingham at Battle Mountain going down the road really fast, uh, advertising high drive, uh, energy drink. And uh, I was curious, so I went and did some research uh, and s saw what the speeds were and went down the list and, uh, oh, that's really fast. And then I noticed the tandems were not as fast as the regular bikes. And I thought, oh, that shouldn't be that way. I have a tandem that's faster than my regular bike. So that's how this all started. I was like, oh, I think a tandem uh, should be faster. So I decided to build one. Uh, so, just decided to build one? Yeah. Like, who just purchased that? So, you saw a commercial or? Yeah. In your life? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and not just any bike, you know, it's, it's right. something special. So, I saw an opportunity. I thought, okay, if we build this tandem, you know, maybe uh, we can break some records. So, uh, we really just enjoy designing and building things. Uh, so, uh, we designed this five man tandem. More power is better, we're thinking. So, uh, we did a little bit of wind tunnel testing with models and determined that, that uh, we should do well. So we decided to build it, design and build it, and we did. And this is our first year here at Battle Mountain. We've been here as spectators before, but this is the first time here uh, as a competitor. Uh, so we're going for the multi-rider, multi-track uh, world record, uh, which is 62 point something. So we want to do at least 63 miles an hour uh, to get that record. Uh, so from front to back, we have a fiberglass nose cone. It has two uh, cameras. Uh, behind that we have, uh, the bike has four wheels, but uh, 10 tires, 160 PSI tires. Uh, there's two and two in the front and three and three in the back for a total of 10 tires. Uh, they're inside aerodynamic uh, wheel pants, they call them. Uh, we have a Kawasaki 1000 uh, disc brakes on the front and rear. Uh, so we have redundant braking. Uh, this thing stops on a dime. Uh, very powerful brakes. Uh, we designed mechanical calipers instead of hydraulic because uh, they release better. They, they back off so you don't have drag. We don't have any drag. So uh, the front wheels have clutches built into them so it's almost like a differential so we can steer easily. Uh, the rear wheels are on the same shaft and they're fixed. Uh, they drive together. Uh, the driver has uh, steering uh, via cables uh, on a rotating uh, handle. He has uh, braking via cables as well. So the driver, he pedals, he steers, uh, he brakes. Uh, the guy behind him, number two, uh, is just a motor basically. He's long for the ride, so he's just pedaling. Uh, they all have intercom so they can talk to one another. Uh, we have a push to talk uh, radio for the chase vehicle. Uh, we can communicate back and forth. Um, so, rider two, three, and four are basically just motors. Uh, they're all in a recumbent position, uh, clipped in. They have watt meters. Uh, rider number five, he's kind of like the co pilot. Uh, he does the shifting and braking as well if necessary. Uh, the brakes are really good, it stops on a dime. Uh, the tail cone is the fiberglass, uh, uh, almost like a surfboard construction uh, for aerodynamics. It has a tail light, vent, and a video camera at the very back tip. Uh, so Rider 5 uh, basically has a, a backup camera so he can see traffic coming up on him because we've tested on the highway. So, yeah, so we've been passed by a motorhome at 60 miles an hour and hasn't been an issue. But we always have a lead and chase vehicle when we're on the road. We go to kind of a deserted desert highway, uh, like the song says, out at Amboy Crater Route 66 in Southern California is where we've been doing our testing. Uh, and then some local uh, places in Chino, uh, California. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's even flatter than uh, Battle Mountain, uh, that particular course. It's about a half a percent uh, grade there and five miles straight just like here lower altitude a little bit flatter very very little traffic uh but 
in the summertime, it can be 110 degrees. It's horrible in the summertime uh, when it comes to temperature. Yeah. So, any other questions? You've been doing this again for how long? Uh, we've been constructing this for probably three or four years. Uh, yeah. And, well, no, uh, I've got a full time job. <laughs> and then I got this as a hobby, and, and my wife's getting rather burned out on it. You know, a lot of time and money has gone into it. So, Chuck and I were, were designing, building, and funding this project, and our wives are getting uh, tired of the whole thing. You know, so. <laughs> uh, I work for uh, a company that uh, designs and builds uh, retail displays. Yeah, so in uh, stores, the fixtures that the products are on, uh, sales counters, those sorts of things. So uh, we're, we're, we're a manufacturer, basically. So you've always been in it like an engineer? Yeah, I graduated in 1980 from Cal Poly Pomona, worked in mechanical engineering for a while, and then uh, started working at the display company where we design and build custom displays. Yeah. You've ridden in this yourself? Uh, Chuck and I have had it up to 67 miles an hour, just doing a coast test on a rather uh, slight slope uh, at Amboy Crater. And uh, during that test, we got passed by a motorhome at like 60 miles an hour. Uh, it's a, a little scary, but it's fun. And we have crashed. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's only two of us in the vehicle. Uh, we have uh, cam locks to hold the doors closed. Uh, we've gone probably 15 miles at highway speeds. And uh, door number two with nobody in number two, uh, the latch is rattled loose, door open, and it acted like a rudder and blew us off the road. Uh, so we went off on onto the you know sand dunes on, ended up on our side that set us back months so we didn't make battle mountain that year uh because of that this, this um, looks like a very expensive project <laughs> yeah yeah we we, 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 don't, we don't want to talk about how much because chuck and i were trying to stay married you know so <laughs> we've been married almost 40 years and we want to keep it that way so, <laughs> yeah, so well you know it's our mistress, let's say, you know. <laughs> our wives are getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, it's a joke. All right, that's awesome. I mean, if you have anything else you want to say. Well, just to anybody that's watching, you know, try to do something special challenge yourself we enjoy designing building things we've learned a lot even that you know, so you know in, in at Cal Poly Mona they have what they call a, a senior project you know when you before you graduate you do a senior project you build something you get graded on it well we're calling this a seniors project <laughs> because my buddy's retired I'm gonna be retired into this year really? so yeah so this time? well or zero time if uh, you know our wives get the, their way you know so yeah <laughs> but anyway that was great. This thing blows me away. I've never seen anything like this. It's the first time I've experienced this. Um, if there's one thing that you would tell kids or anyone, any life advice about this or that. Well, I think, uh, you know, if you have a dream, go for it, you know. Uh, you know, I think it was Back to the Future. There's a quote, you know, you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything, you know. So we put our mind to it and we accomplish this. and. Uh, hopefully we break a world record this week. Yeah, uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks a lot. Chris Demarkey, Rudy Napolitano, Danny Camp, Phil Tinsman, Josh Stockton.